Hey guys, this is Zach with Guided Outdoors. What we're gonna do here is we shot a mallard today. Johnny got him one to mount. And uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to prep it for taxidermy. I do a little taxidermy on the side. Uh, and this is how I like my birds when they come. Uh, so what you're gonna do, never, ever, ever put pantyhose on a bird. It sticks to the feathers when you freeze it. And then when you try to pull the pantyhose off, you can pull feathers off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little piece of paper towel you're gonna wet it, wring it out. You don't want it sopping wet, just moist. And you're gonna come up here to the head. What'll happen is the skin around the beak and the skin around the eyelids will shrink during when it freezes. You don't want that because it makes it hard to mount. So just take that moist paper towel, wrap it around those areas. Very good there. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the feet. Same principle. You don't want that skin on that feet to shrink because we do use the real feet and we inject them and paint them. So you don't want that skin to shrink because then it's hard to inject. And it doesn't look good. I'm going to take that paper towel. Make sure you get every, all the surface area all the way up to where it meets the feathers. And just wrap it around one time. Now as you can see, where it meets the feathers is where you want to go up to. It's okay if it touches the feathers. Just make sure you cover all of it. Bird, if you do a bird like this, it can stay up to two years, sometimes three in a freezer and not have any freezer burn uh, and no problems. And you can still mount it. Uh, now we're going to take a two and a half gallon freezer bag. We're going to put this mallard in here, wings tucked, head tucked back so it doesn't break off. I'm just going to tuck it in there. Try to keep all the feathers laid down as good as you can so they don't freeze and bend the wrong way. I'm going to stuff him in the corner like that. Don't overstuff. Just nice and easy. And then you're just going to roll it to get all that air out. Seal up your bag. Finish getting that air out, and you're good to go. If you want to, you can put it in a trash bag for extra, um, but this will be just fine. Put it in the freezer, and you're good to go. You can take it to your taxidermist. Cupped up. Cup. Oh, oh. As you can see, we're out here at the back of the lodge at uh, David Blakely's guide service. Got the binos out. There's a thousand, fifteen hundred bluebills rafted up out in front of us. A mallard just dumped in. I mean, it truly is a real foot experience. But what I wanted to touch on um, with the taxidermy, I showed you how to prepare your duck for your taxidermist. Uh, also, if your bird is damaged, most taxidermists can um, repair anything, a broken wing and, so and sorts. Just be aware that any open skin or broken bones like that, it can affect how the feathers lay post repair. Uh, and it may not look as good. It's better if you have a broken wing, if you're gonna have a sitting pose or swimming pose or something like that, broken wing is no problem. Uh, now, if the, if the secondary feathers are broke, which means like the, the feathers that come off of the wing, if those are broke, there's no way to repair those, unfortunately. But anything, skin tears, and most of those things can be repaired. Just be aware that sometimes the feathers don't lay correctly when you sew them back. Follow us for more tips like this. Comment down below, like, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.